Okay, we're going to go over some steps required to migrate some of the files that we utilized in a previous version of MasterCam into X9. In this example, we're going to use files from X8. So the first thing that we'll take a look at is where our files are located. Now these instructions are specific for companies where your files are stored on a server. So in this case, I have a H drive, a master cam X8 file folder, and then inside of here you'll see I have a couple operations that I use for this particular machine. I have a set of defaults that are specific for this machine. I have my post processor files, and then I have a tool library specific for this machine. So let's take a look at what we have in X8. When I pull up this machine from my mill selection, and I take a look at the properties, I can see I have the tool library, which is already associated to these files. I see the location those files are coming from, which is specific to X8. And I also see that I have my default file and this one's different than the generic one as I've made a couple changes that represent how I typically program for this machine. So I'm going to take you through the steps to show you how to migrate these files and then also how to reselect the tool library and default so that I can use those in X9. So we can switch over to X9. And then we need to go to our folder system and make sure that we have a new folder for the new file. So I'll back up and you can see here I've already created a folder called MasterCam X9 files. There doesn't have to be anything in here because when I update the files they will be placed in here in the same uh, folder structure as before. So now we can go back to MasterCam. We'll go under File and then choose the Migration Wizard. We want to choose the advanced option, that way we can tell it where we want to put the files and also which files we want to update. We want to migrate our shared folder. And what we need to do here is select a source folder and then a destination. So in this case, I want to browse and I need to go find that location for my X8 files. So I'll minimize here, I'll find my H drive, and then I find my MasterCam X8 files. And this is the main folder, so I'll keep that selected. Then for the destination folder, my file is really the same except for it's X9. So I can either copy this and change the name or I'll browse again to find the same location. So there's my H drive, MasterCam X9 files, and now I have it all set up properly. So now I can move to the next step. This is where I just select the types of files I want to update. Now, I already know what files I have in that folder, and I don't have anything in there that I do not want to update. However, if you have part files or other things stored in there, you may want to uncheck certain files you don't want to update. So in this case, we're really updating operations, control definition, a default file, a tool library, a machine definition, and a post. But like I said, since I know I don't have anything else in there, I'll just uncheck what I know I don't want to update. So I'll hit Next. It doesn't matter what version I pick if I only have a single version in there. So currently I only have X8 files, so I can leave the other two selected. The last page just gives us an overview of what we're updating, where we're getting the files from, where they're going, and what versions we're updating. So I can go ahead and hit Finish if everything looks correct. We can look at the update process or we can just hit no. Now we can go ahead and populate our machine type in X9. So if I go to my machine type list, I'll see that I don't have anything in here yet. So let's go to manage list. And we want to add our machine to the list. So when we start a new file, we can pick it. So the first thing we need to do is pick the directory. We go to our same directory where the files are now stored for X9, which is MasterCam X9, and then my post files are specifically in a post folder. Once I pick that folder, I'll see the machine is available. I can add it to my list and then green check. So now when we start out 
under mill, we can start a new file for our shopbot mill. Now, one thing that we need to change here is we need to update our description here to say X9. This is just a good indication for when we open a file, we can see if we've utilized the latest machine control definition in POSE. So part of the process of updating to a new version is that when we open up old files, we'll need to come in here and hit replace and reselect the machine definition from the X9 folder. So let's go ahead and fix a couple things. So with this machine pulled up, I need to go under settings, machine definition manager. You can green check through this box. And in a couple seconds, the machine definition will open. First thing we can change is we can update this to say X9. All this is is a description that shows up in your operation manager. So I've updated that. I can also change my tool library because I've updated that and now the location has changed. So if you didn't see that step, I hit the edit general machine parameters, go to my tool and material libraries, and I can see here it's still referencing the X8 location. So all I have to do is hit this browse button, back up, and now I go into my X9 folder, tools, and there's my updated library. So now that location is correct. At this point, I'm going to save, and I need to make another adjustment in my control definition. So I select Edit Control Definition. One thing I'll see right away is I have a red X, even though it is pulling up the current location for my X9 post. So if I hit this drop down list, I can see that my old location and my new one. Now I, what I want to do here is I want to import all the settings from my old location into the new one. What that means is when I select this option here, all of these pages have specific settings. Now in order for the settings from my old location to be brought in and populate these pages, I need to import them. So this is an important step to make sure you don't lose any customization you've made to these settings. So I'll click on the Tolerance tab. And then over here in the gray area, I can simply right click, choose Import, All Pages. It's going to take me right to my X9 folder, so I can pick the control definition in my X9 folder. And then it's going to ask me where I want to import it from. Currently, it has the default settings, but I want to import them from the old location. So I select that and green check. And now those have been brought into these pages. So now when I scroll through these pages, I'll see specific settings that I know that I've changed in here for this particular machine. Now one other thing we can do before we save it, we'll go to our Files tab. And for this one, I actually had some default operations connected to this machine. So I come here and select Default Operation Library. And this is for my inch uh, command. So now I can browse here and reselect the new location. So I'll go to my X9 folder, go to my ops, and then here I have my updated defaults file. So I can now open that, and now that gets associated to this particular control definition. Now that I'm all set with my changes, I can go ahead and hit Save. And I can do one last step, which is to remove the old reference. It's not needed anymore, and it's best to just remove it. That way, if for some reason we lost our X9 post file, it wouldn't go back and grab the old one. So what we want to do here is select Post Processors. We want to carefully select the old location, which is X8, and then hit Delete Files. I'm all done, so I can green check. One last save in the control definition. Now I can green check again. And then we'll save our machine definition one more time. Green check. It's just going to ask us if we want to load the latest changes. So I can say yes. And what I'll see now after I hit replace is that it, my description is updated. And when I go under the files, I now have it associated to my X9 tool library as well as the defaults that I've made for this particular machine. 
So those are the steps to migrating. If you have any other questions on these steps, feel free to let us know.